There is something unique about every child of God. Something unique about every child of God. And this uniqueness is what distinguishes us from the people of the world. Maybe you are not aware. That's what the Spirit of God wants me to communicate to you this morning. The uniqueness of our life that makes us different from the people of the world is what is called the life of favor. The life of favor. Praise the Lord. And it is time for every child of God that is born of the incorruptible seed of the word of God to begin to live their life in the consciousness and awareness of the life of favor that is resident in their lives. The Bible tells us in the Old Testament, when you study the life of Joseph, you study the life of Daniel, you study the life of Esther, you will discover the consistency of the manifestation of God's favor in their lives. Praise the living Jesus. And it is this same blessing we have been brought into that God set us apart to make us enjoy in our work with him. Praise the Lord. You need to be conscious if you are born again that you have been recreated and you have been set apart for the life of favor. There are Christians struggling in life because they don't know who they are. They don't know who they are. There are men of God's children living below the life that they have been called to live. And they are wondering, why is my life this way? Praise the living Jesus. Praise the Lord. Take note of this. I can't stop saying it, which I want you to always remember. If you are born again, you are not ordinary. Hallelujah. Say, me, I'm not ordinary. If you are born again, you are not ordinary. You are not an ordinary person. You have been made supernatural to live extraordinary life. Let that one enter into you. Live in the consciousness of it every day of your life. You are not ordinary. You have been recreated, set apart, reprogrammed to live extraordinary life. But someone is asking, if this is who I am, why is my life like this? I have a simple answer. It's because you did not know. Praise the Lord. It's because you have been wrongly informed. It's because you are not told who you are. You have been wrongly informed. You are not aware. You have been set apart to live extraordinary life. You are not ordinary. Praise the Lord. And the earlier you come to the consciousness of this truth, the better. The Bible tells us something which I want to see in the book of Proverbs chapter 13, verse 15. Proverbs 13, 15. He said, good understanding gains favor. Hallelujah. Good understanding gains favor, but the way of the unfaithful is hard. King James says, the way of transgression, the transgressor is hard. Good understanding is a procure favor. It gives favor. Praise the Lord. Good understanding gives favor. He said, but the way of unfaithful is hard. The way of transgressors is hard. So as a born-again Christian, if you don't understand who you are, if you don't understand who you are and what you have been made to be in Christ, are you listening to me? You will not be able to enjoy in full the blessings of favor that the Lord already set apart for you. Look at that scripture. He said, good understanding gains favor. Understanding is very important. Praise the living Jesus. When you don't understand who you are, what you have been made to be in Christ, you will not be able to enjoy that favor that God already made available for you. You will not be able to enjoy that favor that God already imparted into your spirit at the point of salvation. 
He said, good understanding gains favor, brings favor, procure favor. If I may change, he said, but the way of the ignorant is very hard. Praise the living Jesus. You see, understanding of application of God's word, understanding of who you are, thinking that way, talking that way, is what gives you access to all that God already provided for you and I in Christ Jesus. And that's the reason God sent us to keep teaching and to keep communicating this to you until you live in a con get to live in a consciousness and awareness of it. Praise the living Jesus. Are you following what you are sharing this morning? Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us again in the book of Proverbs chapter 21 verse 16. Proverbs 21 verse 16. He said the man that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. When you don't understand who you are, you live like an unbeliever. You become a member of the congregation of the dead. Christians don't know who they are. That's why God, Jesus said, you need to always remind yourself of this. I have been called out of the world. He said, I have called you out of the world. Praise the Lord. You don't think like them. You don't talk like them. You don't behave like them. You don't allow traditions of men to influence your character, your behavior. You don't allow traditions of men to take you out of the path of the truth of the word of God. You don't compromise traditions of men with the word of God. He said the man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So as sons and daughters of God, I want to challenge you this morning to take responsibility to know who you are in Christ. Take responsibility to get to know what you have been made to be in Christ Jesus. How? By revelation. By revelation. You see, Christianity is about taking responsibility of getting to know God for yourself. Are you following what you are sharing? Like the teaching that we had, like our pastor shared with us last Sunday, you cannot cultivate intimate relationship or intimate love with your partner if you don't spend time. The same thing with us in our work with God. The God you don't spend time in his world, you cannot really cultivate intimate relationship with. Are you following what you are sharing? And you see, your life cannot change until you get to the point of getting to know who you are, what you have been made to be by revelation of God's word. Is somebody listening this morning? And it takes a lot of effort on our part to spend time with God for him to reveal to us. Because revelation of God's word, not sense knowledge, is the guarantee for that transformation of our lives. Somebody said, I want my life to be transformed. Yes, God already said to you, the source of the transformation of your life is through his word. In the, book, in the book of Romans chapter 12, look at it from verse 2. Romans chapter 12 from verse 2. He said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God. He said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by what? By the renewing of your mind. This one requires a conscious effort. It requires a conscious effort. Renewal of mind is something you consciously do. It's the responsibility you take up and you consciously get to renew your mind. He said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. How? By the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Are you listening to me, God's people? So to know who you are is not through sense knowledge. To know what you have been made to be in Christ is not through sense knowledge. It takes getting to know who you are by revelation. The revelation of God's word is what guarantees the transformation of our lives. Praise the Lord. 